Hey everybody, it's Kim from Most Scrap, and I'm here today to share with you some butterflies that I've been making. Last night, I saw Fiona's video, Fiona who is Jennings 644, which I'm sure you all know, but um, I saw her video on how to make butterflies from paper flowers. And I just had a fit and I had to make some. So I got out um, these flowers from Michael's. I'm sure you've all seen them. I got out some beads. I got out some stickles. Got my hot glue gun going. And just started playing to see what I could come up with. And so I want to share with you... Um, what I did. And also, before I get into it and forget, I wanted to say thank you to Fiona for the inspiration because you share just so much with us and show us how to do so much and you're the catalyst that I, I springboard off of sometimes, I feel. So, my first one was pretty simple. Oh, I did not have wire like she was using to make the antennae. So I used eye pins and stick pins for my stash. Because like I said, it was it was late last night. No stores were open. So this was just a pink flower. Cut one petal off. And cut a petal off of another flower to make the other one. And on this one I used the um, cotton candy stickles. So it's very subtle. Just put three white pearls right there. And two um, eye pins. So that's how I started. Very simple. It's, you know, it's cute, but it's very subtle and everything. So then I had to get more bold, you know. So then I used this one. Two different color flowers. Same three pearls in the middle. Just hot glued down. This one I used head pins. And I glossed the accent in some oblong pearls on there to dress up the antenna a little bit and on this one I used the thistle stickles so I thought that one turned out real pretty and once I made those two I was just like all bets are off I was trying everything <laughs> so I tried this one this was a just a beige flower from the same all these flowers were from the same can the light pink flower for the top wings. Some gray pearls there. Again, head pins. Gray pearls that are glossy accented there. And on this one, um, instead of just pulling the stickles, you know, putting the stickles around the edges, I pulled them in this way on the outside. And then I pulled them out on the top too. And that was silver stickles. I love this one. I think it turned out pretty good. So hopefully that all those stickles are shining for you. Again, two different color flowers. Stickled the edges. These are spacers. Uh, metal spacers. Just put three right there. On this one I used the eye pen and spacers. And these I left longer. Just again playing. Because as you can see I started off cutting them down pretty short. But then I thought well what about if I leave them long. So just playing playing. Then I made this. Now this one I used. What was that? That was diamond. Diamond stickles. And use the same color flower for both layers. Then here, originally, I put the three pearls in the middle. And then I decided to put two on either side. So that gave me that round effect right there. Did the long antenna again with pearls on the tops with the head pins. I thought that turned out cute. And then here's another little one. This one I didn't outline with stickles. I just smeared the stickles on. And this was the cotton candy stickles again. So it's, you know, 
really more subdued. It's not, you know, a bright color. And then three pink pearls in the middle and the same color but smaller pearls on the antenna. That one's cute. And then this one, I used the beige flower. And this is one of the large bling from Recollections. Just put that right in the middle and use two eye pins. But I put the stickles on the eye pins and let it dry filled in the holes and stuff. So that's how I got that effect. So hopefully that's picking up. So I thought while I was at it, <coughs> I would do a little just do a little tutorial show y'all how I did that. Now when I was making these. I made them and then I put the stickles on but I thought it would be easier to stickle it first let it dry then assemble it so before um, I went to bed last night I went ahead and stickled this one up this is the light pink flower which looks like this before you cut it and all I did was cut that one just use my scissors and just try to keep it straight go in on one side go in on the other and remove that one to get this shape use the thistle stickles to outline the bottom layer and then I stickled these two heavier so what I've been doing is just taking once I cut out my petal I nip snip snip this little corner off so it doesn't show past my beads because one of them, oh, let me see if I can find it right here, one of the first ones I made if you can see right in there you can see the tip of that petal and that's what I'm trying to prevent by snipping it <coughs> so I got my hot glue gun ready this is so simple um, here's my base, here's my top, what do you call it, wing, I'm just going to put that down, and just, you know, arrange it how you, however you like it, put this one on the other side, There's your butterfly. And what I've been doing is, as you can see, these flowers have a pretty good bend on the end of the petals. So this bends up, these petals bend down, and that gives you more dimension, I think. So that's the way I've been doing it. So you got the upswing here, the downswing there, and the gap in the middle. So there's your butterfly right there to make sure my pearls are in line I put three pearls on a head pin just you know to keep them straight and then what I've been doing is laying down uh, laying down the hot glue just a little little line and then I use this to, well, if I can do it, you know, when the camera comes, turns on, all bets are off. And then I use that to get my pearls straight instead of putting them on one by one and trying to line them up. And then once you get them hot, you know how the hot glue sets fast, you can just yank that out and your pearls are all in line. So I'll throw that to the side. And then these eye pins, or head pins rather, I've already glossy accented the pearls on them. And all I do is just give it a little, little bend, however you however you like it. And give this one a little bend. And then Some hot glue on. And I have to hold mine up so I make sure my antenna aren't all crooked. So 
So there's one. And then I'm going to hot glue. On there. Hold it up. And just pop that on. Make sure it's turned the way I want it. And there you go. It's as simple as that. So Fiona, thank you so much for teaching us and for inspiring me to play with some flowers for my stash. Love these. So cute. And um, I'll see y'all on the next video. Bye.